Well, uh, I mean, our, our, our audience is very creative. Like, we, we see a lot of, like, creative projects that they do. Like, they, for our birthdays, they, like, name stars after us, and they start these, like, kind of um, planting trees projects, which is pretty cool. And we saw some fans had, like, grouped together and was going to do this thing where they put our faces on, a, like, a tiny van that was going to drive around uh, the NBC studio yeah. while, <laughs> while we're, we're here. here. Um, but I... I, I I I look I see a lot of reaction videos on YouTube when it comes to the series. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like almost every single reaction <laughs> video I've seen um, on YouTube, and they're like uh, twenty minutes long. Oh, and uh, it's so fun to see people's reactions when they see the series. Yeah, in specific scenes and stuff like that. I don't know their names, but I've seen a lot of different people. So much fun. I can't remember. Do you know which scene we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I is it? Is it? It's like a forehead kiss. It is right because it's yeah. like right here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like right kiss. here. Yeah. So it's a forehead kiss. <laughs> Good question. Um, hmm. I think I think he's been he, the the idea of being free has always been in his mind um, in different shapes or forms. I think it became more concrete after he uh, spoke with Boris the last time, the therapist. Um, but then there was all of these circumstances that. Um, he hadn't eaten in like two days, I think, ahead of the Jubilee celebration, and um, he felt mad at August, and he felt um, sad because of his uh, Simon situation. But when when Simon came up to him and said like I love you, I'm I'm open to be with you, that kickstarted something. But he still had these circumstances like oh, I can't let August take over. He's an idiot. Um, so it was kind of an in-the-moment thing, but it had been like building up. Like in that moment, he realized like this is how I'm gonna do it. This is when I walk up there and I just do it. Um, and then after he read that line, like we we um, about traditions, that's when he finally was like, okay, no, this is just wrong. Yeah, we need to we need to look forward, guys. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's like he, eternal question. Yeah, like he wants to, but he does not want to. That's it's very, very torn. Like he says in episode something, four or five. Uh, yeah, five. Uh, when he, um, like he, he's not willing to, to like just sacrifice his family like that. Because the family bond is still very strong uh, within him. Uh, but he is uncomfortable in that circumstance, in that situation. So... He's very very torn. Like he, yeah. he just wants to be happy. You know? And I, I maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe he wants to be loyal to his family and being the prince that he that he was born to be. Uh, and he maybe he can probably make that happen with Simon Simon on his side. Mm -hmm. Simon supporting him. Yeah. But the thing I think is, he believes that. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is. We don't know if Simon will be able to be there uh, like Wilhelm wants him to be. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, now it got really complicated in my head. <laughs> Wait, I'm it getting, is a complicated situation. Yeah, 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 I'm getting lost in my head. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Complicated. I don't it's think really there's weird. any direct answer to that question. No, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it means. I much. tried. <laughs> no way. No way. I'm not that back. <laughs> uh, well, so it's really early in the process. Um, we haven't uh, spoken to our head writer, Lisa Ambian, yet. Um, but we cannot wait to yeah. do that and also to read the script, but um, 
I feel like this situation that they are in right now in starting season three is a really complicated situation and also the first time they ever, they ever uh, that they are open for the first time like like being together and how how are they going to handle that um, but I hope me personally now that I don't know anything about the storyline me personally I hope that uh, we can see a glimpse of their happiness and their love for each other yeah <laughs> Well, I mean, a happy woman couple is what everybody wants. But, yeah, and I mean, the possibilities are endless. Like, like you said, it's still in a very early stage. Um, but we're uh, like the possibilities are endless, and the the circumstance is very extreme. Like they're the first open uh, queer couple in in royal family history, and like, what does that mean? And what does that pressure mean for them? And what does it mean for their families? And, and their families towards each other. It's like it's such a like spider web of just complexity and problems. <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> yes. I guess smile, being happy, kissing uh, in front of a lake, eating a picnic. Yeah. Basically, that would be just a, so listening to music, having a date, being open able to, date. Yeah, being able to chill. Not being uh, afraid of if people are watching or anything, yeah. just being in their universe. Yeah. In front of like something. But like that. we'll see. Maybe that's not possible for them. You know. Yeah. We'll see in season three. Well, I mean, because it's a beautiful place. Yeah. They've been there before. They've been there before. Oh my goodness, hiding. Yeah. Well, technically not, because the, the security guards were there, but... Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they bribed them to shut up, so... <laughs> uh, that's uh, a really complicated situation. I mean, do um, you want to think for, for a second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like you already had something. Well, on. I'm just like, cause for if I know Wilhelm, and I think I do, he's he's um, he's often had issues with seeing things from bigger perspectives. So I can imagine him not realizing how heavy that is for Simon, um, because I think I think for Simon it's a, like a heavy blow, um, like below the belt kind of stuff, and. Um, I just think that for Wilhelm, all he's going to think about is what's going on with, with me and Simon. Like, how are we going to be able to do this and such. Um, so I think it's, it's heavier for Simon, actually. I mean, it means something yeah, to I both so. of them, obviously. But I think it's heavier for Simon. Definitely, because he's his sister. Yeah. Uh, but something that is interesting is that I feel like how Wilhelm sees that situation, I feel like he sees it. Sara as a victim and sees August as the, yep. the, the bad, bad guy because yeah. he tells him it didn't it wasn't enough destroying my family you had to destroy another right. family as well so right. I feel like Point. Wilhelm sees Sara as a victim because yeah. she was blind blinding love you know what I mean and maybe Simon sees it in a different way because it's her sister and he just thinks like how could you how could you do this to me? But at the same time, Sara, I feel bad for Sara because she fell in love and yeah. she thought that he was going to do the right thing. August, go to the police and, you know, tell everybody how it is and just make everything right. Yeah. She wanted that to happen. Um, but August is the bad guy and he lied and he did selfish stuff. Yeah. And so... Like Lisa said, she said she talked. She, we were talking about this the the other week. Like, no, no person is good or evil. You can just do good or evil deeds yeah. um, or actions. Yeah, I think both Sara and August have done <laughs> bad things. Yeah, as has Wilhelm and Simon. But um, I think that's like what it's like being young too. Yeah, because you you never yeah. like see the fuller picture. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm open to forgive Sarah. Um, it's a hard question. Wow. I, you know what? I believe in forgiving. 
because if you don't forgive, you're gonna just hurt yourself. Uh, yeah. But um, it all depends on what she's do, what she's gonna do in season three. Obviously, yeah. and hopefully, she'll probably try to make it up to Simon yeah. uh, and not make anything worse. But we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five, and six. Of oh, season two? Yeah. Yeah, those were actually pretty good. The same in season one. I don't know why, but those episodes are so good. I gotta say, the the um, um, the Valentine Ball episode in season two now. What's that episode? Five, four? Thank four, you. Yeah, four. <laughs> we did the show. I think I didn't even remember the episodes. Uh, so yeah, and episode four in in that's beautiful because there's like there's something like twisting there and like kickstarting everything in new directions, yeah. which is quite interesting. And I like episode four in season uh, one two actually because everybody's alone. Yeah, yeah, that's also different. Yeah, that's from also the whole, like a, from yeah. the whole start. I mean, that's just like it's drama begins. Yeah, yeah. dramaturgical. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Summer. Summer. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, sure. It's okay. It's okay. Sure, yeah. Fitta. Yeah. Uh, fuck. That feels like universal. That guy. Break what? Oh, um. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure, probably me. Definitely. <laughs> That's me too. Definitely. <laughs> I was late today though. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Butter and cheese. I remember this very vividly. Was that wait? Was it was that like hard hard bread, butter, cheese, hard bread? Oh, yeah. Super yeah. disgusting. But yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Not with the second bread. No, no. That's that's kind of weird. One one bread. Yeah. Butter, <laughs> cheese. Also yeah. some. Um, it's rapid fire. But okay. <laughs> False. False. Beach. Ah. Oh. Beach. I hate sand. Um, it doesn't have to be sandy beach. Mountains. <sighs> yeah. Coffee. I'm Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. <sighs> Love. Yeah. It was the same thing. Tickets to a nice theater. Uh, Money. Money. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Cash. What's the best language? Money. Money. Yeah. Well, um, I've been thinking of this recently. Um, that it's very, it feels very beautiful for both of us that um, that people feel very seen and represented by our show, um, and other queer shows, which is very nice and beautiful and. I just want them to take with them that um, that feeling of being represented and, and feeling seen is like bare minimum. That's like valid all the time. And I think that says a lot about representation in this industry. And I guess I just want them to take with them that they're always valid. Um, like yeah. the feeling they get from Young Royals is how they always should feel. And also that it is okay not feeling well yeah. or it is okay to feel so good it is okay to be whatever you want to be mm -hmm. and a little more strength and confident in, in their selves mm -hmm. when they go forward in life mm -hmm. that you know we fucking exist yeah. you know we're yeah. fucking proud yeah, yeah.